Hi, my name is JD. Um, I was going to go over something uh, uh, involving the WN module um, installation for an X1 Carbon 6th generation. Uh, I ended up having to use a bunch of different sources and do some research because I really didn't find anything that kind of collated all that information together. So I wanted to hopefully make it a little bit easier for somebody that is contemplating uh, this or, or maybe even something similar and stuff just so that you understand it. Uh, I, like I said, I had to look at a lot of different sources, so maybe I can condense this a little bit down. Try to make this video nice and quick. So the first thing you do when you get into Lenovo, you got to go to the, the setup, you got to go to the configuration, uh, go to power, and make sure that you disable the uh, the built-in battery. Just enter, and then uh, take that off power. Um, it won't start up again until you uh, actually plug it back into power. And the fact that it won't start up right there, I, I guess I pulled that off in time. Uh, then you can go ahead and you can turn it over. Let's see if I can line this up. You're gonna have to loosen the five screws. You got uh, two screws on each side and then one screw in the back. And uh, you can uh, pull off that back cover. Once you pull off the back cover, uh, I just wanted to kind of go over some of the some of the things that you have to do. First of all, you're gonna have to get an antenna if this is the X1 Carbon sixth generation. I'll see if I can put the part number down in the uh, um, description here. But when you look at each corner up here on the, the, the you know, the front side toward the battery, you're gonna see that there's the, the, the module here is actually underneath the battery. I'm not gonna take the battery out for expediency. I'm sure you can do that. There's just a couple screws. It, it just simply flips up. Well, uh, below that, you've got this, um, it, it's it's the one that you can see here in orange and stuff, but it's got two screws that hold it in, and then it's got the auxiliary lead, which is the blue lead up here, which then, it, and the battery all already has these guides kind of built into it and stuff, so that auxiliary line will go up to the uh, uh, your, your um, uh, WAN module. And then on the other side in the front here, uh, you've got the uh, the main side of the uh, of the antenna. Uh, there will be some plastic spacers in both sides, uh, of, of the laptop, just take those spacers out and then these will go in the place of them. This side, you don't, actually don't even have to and stuff. This is actually what you're looking at right here. Uh, it just so happens that some of this on this side is actually underneath there. Well, anyway, the orange on the main uh, wraps around, goes over here to where the WAN module is, and you'll see where it's actually labeled, you know, for the main, and uh, it's color-coded as well, and the auxiliary. Just make sure you get those in right. Be careful when you do these and stuff. You have to make sure that you're on it really well. You don't want to mess these up, otherwise you're probably going to end up having to buy a, a new antenna kit. Uh, because uh, you just be really careful. I like using this little plastic spudger when I'm doing that. Um, I only have this over here because I don't want to show everybody my I, uh, IMEI number uh, to the world and everything. Well, um, once you get the module in, once you've got the antenna kit in and routed over, all, all in all, pretty easy. Uh, then you can go ahead and if you look in the very back here, um, there's a place here where you can put an SD card, right? Uh, right here. Uh, that little slot that comes out on the back. Well, along with that, if you pull that that um, little tray out, that tray's got a space for a SIM card as well. So once you've got everything installed and it shows that it, it's detected and everything and it just says uh, insert a SIM card to activate service, that's where you're going to put the SIM card. I'm using AT&T, using a 20 meg plan. It was actually meant for like a tablet, um, but it works fine in here. Speeds are really good. Uh, and I'm actually really, really liking it and everything. I think I got like a, a 50 gigs a month, and, and that's for like $20, and I think that's kick-ass. Um, so you might want to think about that as opposed to something like a Cricut or something like that, and I'm, I'm pretty happy having cellular data on my laptop for uh, 20 bucks a month. Once you get this done, just go ahead and... Uh, 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 put the cover back on, make sure you plug it into power, and, uh, and, and you know, the, the rest is, is pretty much easy. It's under network connections or internet, network and internet connections uh, is where you'll find what you need. And plus, you'll see it down on the uh, task tree as well. You may have to disable your Wi-Fi because it may attempt to default to that, especially if the setting for Windows says, let me manage it. Uh, but if you disable the Wi-Fi, then you should be able to connect to the cellular once you have your SIM card in. Uh, like I said, if you're at a store or something, you might want to just say, hey, I'm here to pick up like a nano SIM. That's, a, that's what it is uh, for a tablet. Uh, for for you know cellular uh, data on the tablet, uh, you might want to find out what kind of tablet it is. I'm just saying I wouldn't tell them it's specifically for a computer unless you know the people, uh, or they don't really care. Uh, either way, 
Um, but that's about it uh, for the X1 Carbon 6th generation. I'm sure it works uh, very similar for other things. Um, my wife, I, I, I got her a, a P50 uh, coming in this week, and I'm, I'm considering doing the same thing to that one, even though it's a different module. Uh, but I hope that helps you.